Good afternoon. I'm meteorologist Ethan Houston in Lancaster County, and we still have light to moderate sleet out here across the Susquehanna Valley. And the winds have actually picked up a little bit, uh, just making it feel even colder. But man, did that snow come down hard early this morning? Here's a look at some of the snowfall reports that we've received from you, our viewers, and also from the National Weather Service in Quarryville, up to seven inches of snow in New Freedom, six and a half inches of snow in York County, Stewartstown, six inches of snow, Shrewsbury at four and a half inches, a little bit less towards Millersville and Lancaster County, just over three inches, three inches also in Willow Street so far, Chambersburg and Franklin County at 2.9 inches, and there has been a sharp drop off in snow north and also west of Harrisburg. Only one inch in Shippensburg and Cumberland County and just one inch so far in Elizabethville. So we have seen the intensity of the snow and the sleet start to drop off. But here is meteorologist Christine Frere on what you can expect for the rest of the night and the rest of the 10 days ahead. Christine. All right, thanks, Ethan. Yeah, we are seeing the intensity dropping off, the snowflakes changing over to sleet pellets, those ice balls kind of ping-ponging off your windshield there or your, your windows on your siding. We are going to be seeing most of this activity come to an end, some lulls in the action, and then the chance for some light snow and sleet will return later this evening and tonight. So here's the breakdown. Today, still an alert day for you. We're under a winter storm warning. Roads are pretty messy due to temperatures in the 20s, so take it easy if you must travel today. Light snow, sleet starting to wind down. We'll get some breaks through this evening, but there's still the chance of intermittent precipitation, and most of that is going to be frozen. So that sleet, maybe even a little bit of freezing rain. Tonight, periods of light snow return as the back edge of the system passes over us. There's still the chance of some sleet mixing in, and there will be some additional accumulations. Most spots just a coating to maybe up to two inches north of the turnpike with this additional snow tonight. Then for tomorrow, light snow winds down before lunchtime, cloudy and chilly throughout the day, 34 to 38 degrees, and winds should pick up late tomorrow night into Saturday as the system goes by. But I'll tell you what, the weekend, I think we're going to see the sun again. It's just going to be cold. Temperatures will be in the 30s. Here's a look at your currents. It is solidly below freezing out there. Remember we talked about that area of high pressure yesterday funneling in the cold, dry air? It did exactly that, and that cold air is locked in place. It does uh, feel a little brisk, though. Winds right now up to 15 miles per hour in spots, so wind chills are in the teens. If you're going out to shovel out here during this break in the action, make sure you bundle up. So like Ethan said, most of this is now tapering. We just have a little light sleep, maybe even some freezing rain east of the Susquehanna River. Here's that secondary piece, the back edge of the system that will be passing through. This comes through late tonight, early tomorrow morning, and then we're done with it. Let me show you with the predictor. Right now, some breaks, some lulls in the action, but you see that spotty precipitation still persisting and even the mix, especially south of the turnpike. So don't be surprised if you see some of those sleep pellets here over the next couple of hours or even a little freezing rain. Tonight, that secondary piece comes in. There's your light snow, just a quick coating to two inches in addition to what you already saw this morning. And then finally, the system pools away we're looking at clearing skies as we head into the weekend. So here's your snow total map through Friday morning. So three to six inches in most of the Susquehanna Valley. This is the jackpot zone where we had that extremely heavy band dumping two, three inches per hour. Very, very small band, but it was through southern York, southern Lancaster County. So I just wanted to highlight that for you where Ethan was giving you those high totals. That's what happened. You got very, very heavy snow there. But again, little additional accumulation on top of what you already received. Here's the 10 day forecast. Cold weekend ahead. Average temperatures for this time of the year, they're in the low 40s. But we're not going to see that until next week.